What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out these moments were not supposed to happen at WWE WrestleMania 39. There were a few moments that uh, definitely, definitely weren't on the script for WrestleMania this year. We're gonna check out some of those moments. We're still riding off the WrestleMania high, and uh, I definitely wanted to check this out with you guys. Appreciate all the love and support you guys have shown on the channel as of recently. Thank you so much for all the love and support this WrestleMania weekend. More content is on the way. So we're going to check this out. Let's get right into this bad boy, man. Now guys, it is WrestleMania here, back with another video. WrestleMania 39 were two nights to remember, including the WWE's occasional <clears throat> goofs, gaffes, and other snafus. Mm -hmm. Join us now as we look at six things that were not supposed to happen. Great WrestleMania, WrestleMania I enjoyed 39. it. And now we're not talking about WWE's decision to keep the undisputed WWE Universal Championship on Roman Reigns. <laughs> Although we do have a video on the breakdown of WWE's decision and the real reason oh, why Cody lost. Be sure to subscribe and hit that uh, notification bell for daily wrestling videos and follow us on Facebook for exclusive lists. Also check out our new channel, WrestleMania Shorts. Number 1. Deleting Mr. McMahon Is Pat McAfee undefeated at WrestleMania? Well, Michael Cole said Pat was, noting McAfee's big win over Austin Theory at WrestleMania 38. Unfortunately, there's that problem of Pat wrestling yeah. Mr. McMahon in an impromptu match after Pat polished off Theory. While it's impossible to know, at least right now, whether this was intentional or a mere oversight, Michael Cole omitted a fact that's common knowledge to most WWE fans. I forgot fans, all about that. Or it could have been the fact that it wasn't sanctioned. But then again, was this match sanctioned? Number two. I forgot all about that. He did mention that, that Pat's undefeated. And I, I guess that was kind of a, a blunder on their part because technically he did have a match with Vince. And he did lose to Vince. There was a referee and everything. So, and if you see the glitching on the screen, I don't know what's going on, y'all. Sometimes it, it it shows up, sometimes it don't. I don't know what's going on. I've looked up YouTube videos. I'm still trying to figure this out. It's something's going on with the webcam and OBS. So I'm gonna figure this out. The referee makes a social call. Now, we're not sure if this counts as a blunder or a case of a referee playing out part of a story in the ring. We'll let you decide after you've heard this one. If you caught Saturday's six-woman tag match, you know Becky Lynch, Trish Stratus, and Lita defeated Damage Control. Mm -hmm. However, there was a spot during the match when Damage Control's Dakota Kodakai had Becky Lynch done for the pin. Unfortunately, the referee was too busy joining with Io Sky, keeping him from checking on Kai. Judging from the referee's hasty movement to make the pin, it looks like he lost track of the match for a oh. moment. Number three, Shane McMahon's return match turns painful. Oh, this the right WWE here. The WWE Universe seemed genuinely happy at Shane McMahon's surprise return at WrestleMania. Regrettably, Shane's unannounced match against The Miz ended prematurely as Shane Mac appeared mm -hmm. to have hurt his knee just moments after the bout began. Several news sources, including The Sun, speculated on what happened to Shane. The 53-year-old landed awkwardly and seemed to have popped his knee, which then led him to fall onto the canvas. And with any luck, Shane wasn't seriously injured and won't require surgery. This may be a sign that it's time for McMahon to retire his wrestling boots, or in his case, his Jordans. Oh, I thought it was, uh, uh, I thought the reports was that he tore his quad. But if that's not the case, he just ended up popping his knee, then that's good. Uh, a shout out to, um, to Snoop Dogg. Apparently... Um, Triple H at the press conference talked about how Snoop he caught he pretty much like knew how to pretty much do an audible like it wasn't planned for him to punch the Miz or whatever it was literally that was him kind of just thinking on the fly and Triple H I believe said you know most people that are in the business wouldn't even you know really know what to do in that situation so shout out to Snoop just being aware like uh this is not right let me go ahead and just sock <laughs> um <laughs> the Miz in the face and and go from there which was a, a hilarious Wrestlemania moment so but wishing um um Shane a speedy recovery it's something about the McMahon's getting into the ring and you know something tearing or popping I don't know they they may need to stay out the ring for a while uh permanently honestly number four Finn Balor takes a ladder to the face oh, this the Hell in a Cell matches are notorious for being a high-risk environment Brutal. despite professional wrestling's unintentional 
The Cell match lived up to its reputation again as Edge and Finn Balor got carried away clobbering each other with everything from kendo sticks to steel chairs. At one point, the Rated R Superstar even threw a ladder at Balor, busting Finn open and forcing the referee to pause the match until mm -hmm. medical personnel could stop the bleeding. While Hell in a Cell matches were once some of the WWE's bloodiest matches, the WWE's no blood policy makes it essential to patch up wrestlers mm -hmm. who are cut. In Balor's case, it's Ooh. unclear just what happened when he was struck with the ladder. Was Edge a bit too stiff? Did Balor catch it wrong? Or was it a mutual mistake? Number yeah, it was just an honest mistake. I've seen the pictures, the staples. It, that was a no minor cut. That was a huge, huge gash. And obviously that was not planned. Um... Something like that, I get it. They they have a no blood policy, but granted, that gash was just that was nasty. I'm actually yeah, I'm glad that he were able to get somebody in there to at least stop most of the bleeding because he was bleeding profusely. So, and you know, when you start losing a lot of blood like that, you know, it can be dangerous, man. Five, the mystery of Mysterio's missing pyro. Haru Mysterio had a fantastic entrance during WrestleMania's first night as Love his entrance. drove him to the ring in Eddie's lowrider. However, where were Ray's pyrotechnics? The WWE seemed to have the devices go off that created a loud noise, but there was no pyro in sight. Obviously, this is better than situations like what happened to The Undertaker when the mm -hmm. pyro misfired during his entrance. Yeah. It seemed like a big blunder for the WWE's biggest show of the night. And number six, happens. Charlotte Flair falls flat on her face. This was crazy. Now, German suplexes can be tricky, which is why Ooh. wrestlers have to be especially cautious when they deliver or take one. This was apparent during the Rhea Ripley vs. Charlotte Flair SmackDown Women's Championship match when Ripley suplexed Charlotte. It's difficult to tell who was at fault in this situation, yeah. but it was clear what resulted when the move went off wrong. Not only did the queen land on her neck, but she landed flat on her face. face yeah. Incredibly, Charlotte didn't seem to suffer any apparent damage, and so far, there's no reports of an injury. Hey, well, they, they showed out. <laughs> that match was... Whoo! Hey, I give them credit. They, they showed out. And kudos to Charlotte. She a tough one. Because, man, that... Her landing on her face and the way her neck was rotating, like, you know, the way it, it looked, it looked brutal continue monitoring this situation with Finn Balor and Charlotte Flair in case of any medical updates. But there you have it, folks. Six things that weren't supposed to happen. Yeah, man. And maybe there's more things that wasn't supposed to happen. We just don't know yet. Maybe maybe Cody was supposed to win and Vince was like, no, he's not going to win. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. But this was a, uh, a very good WrestleMania. I'm not going to lie to you. Night one was, in my opinion, the better night. Night two. Had some great, enjoyable things on there, for sure. Um, but overall, a really, really good WrestleMania. I enjoyed it. It's just the Monday Night Raw after was probably one of the worst Monday Night Raws ever. <laughs> it was awful. Not good. And uh, we don't know what the future holds for WWE. So comment down below. Let me know, man. Did you guys, overall, despite... You know, the news of the merger with UFC and WWE and Vince now being in control once again of creative and everything that's happened with the Cody Rhodes situation, not winning the title and all this other stuff. Did you guys overall enjoy this WrestleMania weekend? Was it, uh, was it, you know, when you combine both shows, was it something that you'll go back and watch again? Let me know down below. But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 150K. I'm still here in the speedy YouTube wrestling champion of the world. Appreciate y'all kicking me. See y'all next one. Peace.